Hi, and welcome. Welcome to the Arts Council of Surrey Community Gallery here at the Newton Cultural Centre. My name is Wendy Mould. I am the producer of Gallery Talks. Today, I'm here to introduce you to our featured artist for the month of September, Stephen Robinson. Stephen's show will be here in the gallery until September 29th and can be viewed online at the Arts Council of Surrey.ca. Stephen's show is called The Articulation. His show is his reflection of the impact humans have on the earth. He describes the earth as in a creeping doom of ecosystems. He sees the ego and the selfishness of humanity as the culprits. His process involves working with frozen paint over textured surfaces to create the effects of melting glaciers. I find both his subject and his process very interesting, and I'm looking forward to talking to Stephen about his work. So, let's go meet the artist. Well, hello Stephen. Really nice to meet you and to see your work here today. I'm kind of excited to uh, learn more about your installation here, yes. the articulation. So, Tell us about it. So yeah, the, the articulation is the, the main focus of the, uh, of the exhibition, and it's it kind of shows a bit of my process of what I'm doing on the other works before they're finished. So a lot of it is just frozen paint that I've mixed with water because it's acrylic, so it kind of combines well. And then I also usually laying down or on an angle and the paint will just melt and it will create whatever it designs on the surfaces and then from there I might take back the surface and work on it more and then maybe do more ice and it's a lot of back and forth between me and the ice which I'll consider it's like a collaboration with the environment like the, the ice will may melt at a certain rate it will flow wherever it's level or wherever there's texture, I'd have to move around it kind of like live rivers and lakes in like a topographic setting of like mountains and hills and ranges and stuff. Um, and then the color is more of just a, what I, that's a little bit of my part. It's where I like to combine what I want to have. The color is more for me to decide of how I want to have the piece go. And then usually I do the two complementary, so I've got a warm and a cold to really go with the whole heating and cooling drastic climate change with what's going on in the world with a lot of our it's getting hotter summers, colder winters, and just kind of more escalated. So I really want to focus on that with the bright saturations and drastic contrasts. Oh neat, very interesting. So um, I know we're just going to see the first part here, but I know when I go to edit this video, you're going to send me some of it so we can see the later effects of yeah. it too. Yeah, so the, the whole the point of it, the ice will eventually disappear. It will pool into the, the bin and the two pieces of the, the, the white sculpture will eventually articulate. And even if it falls off and it's sideways, it's more of a focus on that the ice is melting now it's going away now and what we're doing it's like we, we can't prevent it it's, it's happening and so we either have to deal with it before it's too late or try to figure out a solution now and so this might take a day or two before it fully melts but then if you missed it it's now the two pieces articulated the, the painting underneath is created and it's like you missed it you missed the chance to do something about the climate crisis. Oh wow, that's really kind of depressing in a way too. It's a tough practice, but it's it's hard to stay upbeat because of the subject matter, but someone's got to shed some light onto it, right? We've got to talk about it because it's, it's happening. Right. Very interesting. Okay, well let's go on and look at some of your other pieces. So this is overconsumption, and certainly it looks like that. And also, it represents some of the entire context of our show. Yeah. Can you kind of talk to that? Yeah, so there are the three large pieces, there's overconsumption, overpopulation, and overexertion, are the three focuses that I have, the big issues that we're, maybe, that we need to tackle about what's kind of 
affecting all of the environments to deteriorate and melt or overheat. Um, and so overconsumption is what it is. It's overconsuming products and unnecessarily waste. Um, and kind of that like gluttonous greed that humans can kind of get. We overindulge in a lot of things and um, it does have that impact that we don't necessarily see. Sure, maybe you're buying new clothes every week or you're doing whatever it is. It's just that constant need for change or that constant um, consuming of whatever product it is. We don't see the production of it and how those can affect the environment and it can really damage it. And so having these almost deity-like figures be these like, forms that are like, oh, we can, I'm scared of this amalgamation of teeth and gums and whatnot. It's, it kind of puts almost a face to the problem, right? And sure, we can blame humans, but there's almost eight billion of us, so we can put a face to an issue um, that we're maybe a little scared of maybe help push people to maybe rectify some issues. Well, it certainly does give one the feeling of that blackness feeling that you're talking about, you know, over consumption. Yes. Interesting. Okay, let's move on. Well, this is a very interesting piece. And I understand now we're moving away from humanity and starting to have a sense of what Earth is seeing and has to say about all of this. Yeah, so we're, yeah, we're going into the environments of where I'm trying to bring a bit more empathy into the, the spaces that we live in. And so these pieces, Cryosphere, Affliction 1, 2, and 3, we're looking at glaciers and how like, we know they're melting and sure we don't get the scale of it because we're not, we don't necessarily live there, but trying to bring in more color that's, that resembles maybe rust or some organic material coming in and deteriorating it um, rather than just the ice melting. It's a bit more of a, oh, something's happening. There's something that's affecting it. Like it's in pain almost that it's dying and that they are connected to the other pieces by just that's the human, is the humanity is the what's affecting it. Like the, the overconsumption and stuff is what's causing about this affliction on the environment. It's almost like a disease that's slowly killing it. Yes, it's almost like a wound, isn't it? Right in the glacier, yes. Okay. Well, let's move on. Okay, now this one here looks even more different from the other ones. Can you kind of tell us about what's happening now? Yeah, so these ones, I, um, I'm still going off of how can I get some empathy into these environments and how can I maybe get a bit more of humans to sympathize with them and, and maybe feel their pain. And so, anti-mortem striations, the title is a bit play off of words with anti-mortem being like before death. So it's that build up before, like it's not dead yet. But then the striations is the play on that the striations of glaciers that they leave, they carve out the earth. And it's a lot of how I use my practice of carving, using ice and pushing it around. But also the striations of the muscle tissue. So kind of a play on just using the words to kind of have every little thing connected so it's not all over the place. But then having them with this bright red contrasting with this green shows that it looks almost like swollen. Like it's like a wound that's been fresh and that it's just starting to, the blood is starting to maybe start to come out and it just, it seems so fresh and that it's, it's a little glossy so that it comes off a bit. Trying to get that feeling of like a wound something's hurt and something's in pain and that something needs help and yeah. Okay, and now there's six in this series, I understand. Yeah, so there's six uh, anti-mortem striations and they all have, they're all similar color palettes but they're all very different compositions. So I did work on them all at the same time but it was very much, okay, I'm focusing on this one today and so I, I do the, the texture for the the muscles first, so that it's like an underneath the skin, and then the spackle goes on top to see a little bit, but also to give that surface, that top surface, so that the muscles are underneath, similar to skin and muscles and bones with humans and other organic material. Oh, wow. 
Very interesting. Okay, well, thank you very much. I really enjoyed hearing about your show today, and I look forward to uh, seeing some more pictures from the installation on, on how it changes throughout the day. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank you, Stephen, for sharing your ideas and art with me today. I really enjoyed learning about your passion and how you project it into your work. Stephen's show can be seen here at the Newton Cultural Centre until September 28th or online at the artscouncilofsurrey.ca.